Live from the KHOU 11 studios, it's Great Day Houston. This year's flu shot won't guarantee that you won't get a form of the virus. Up next, we'll tell you what to add for an extra line of defense. This year's flu shot missed the mark on the most prevalent form of the flu. So what can you do to boost your defenses against the virus? Here with Natural Ways to Brace Ourselves for Flu Season, welcome the herbal pharmacist, David Foreman. Hello there. Hey, hi. What I like about what you do is that so many of us rely on the pills to take care of, um, if not avoiding something, we rely on pills to deal with symptoms. But you start at the ground, ground of this whole thing, and that is... Prepare your body to defend. Yeah, you want to get you want to get ahead of the game. I, I always uh, go back to the the commercial from years ago on auto parts of you pay me now or you pay me later. Yeah, pay me now is doing prevention. Pay me later is oh I didn't listen to anything David said on the show, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm sick. So luckily we can handle both of those today. But I really like people to get ahead of the game instead of wait. Yeah, and we say herbal pharmacist. Right. There are medicinal um, properties to a lot of easy yeah, things. exactly. My background actually was in pharmacy, and I became a naturopath. So I, I I learned the traditional medicine ways, and now I do the natural medicine ways, and try to do most things with herbs as, if we can. All right, let's start with what we have right here. All right, over here. Yeah, we're gonna start okay. over here. Um, a lot of people reach for hand sanitizers, and we now know even the CDC is recommending the uh, F, uh, yeah FDA is recommending that people avoid using hand sanitizers. It's leading to antibiotic resistance. Um, yeah, so, and that's a problem because if somebody tries to treat you with antibiotics, they're not as effective. Right, exactly. And they also mess with hormones. So I've got a natural solution. It comes from grapefruit. It actually comes from grapefruit seed. It's called grapefruit seed extract. And what you can do is I travel with this, so I'm, I'm always worried about what's on my hands. You can just put a couple drops. It's a little bit oily. I don't know if you want to put well, it on Well, I like on. that because a lot of the hand sanitizers are alcohol-based. It's, like low, based yeah. and it's very, uh, it's drying. very drying. Yeah, yeah, no, this is great. It's, it might leave a little sticky, but uh, no, no oh, odor. No odor, no, yeah. no odor at all. Uh -huh. So uh, grapefruit seed extract is uh, one thing that in, replace your hand sanitizer with okay. that is what I'm saying. All right. Um, let, let's talk about water. We need to stay hydrated. The, your sinus passages, your mucus needs to be thin, not thick. So if we drink more water, we don't become dehydrated. Yeah, if we don't in become fact, dehydrated. Because you have um, those medicines that, that help to move the mucus through, but it always says take with a lot of water. Yeah, There's actually, in all honesty, that. those drugs don't need to be taken. Just drink a lot of water. It's going to accomplish the same thing. Save yourself okay. a few bucks. Okay. Uh, this is a probiotic. I, I use something called InSync. Uh, uh, it uses a, spe a specific technology. Probiotics are friendly bacteria. We know that a great majority of your immune system originates in your digestive tract. So if we have a healthy digestive system and taking a probiotic is one of the ways to achieve that, you're less likely to get sick. Yeah. Now, the problem is a lot of the medications we take can also kill that good bacteria. Oh, especially when people go to the doctor and they get an antibiotic, it's going to mm -hmm. kill that beneficial bacteria. If you're not eating organic, you're killing these good bacteria. So using something uh, like in sync, a good probiotic that's going to get the bacteria through your stomach into your small intestine is a great way to go. All right. Uh, this whole next section it has to do with immune boosting, immune supporting. Uh, there's two different things you can do. You can either wait until it's too late and now you're sick, and then you want something that's going to literally boost your immune system or stimulate it. Or you can do what I do, which is support my immune system over the long haul. And so for supporting is the, really the best way to go. There's a compound that comes from medicinal mushrooms. It's in this bottle right here. It's called AHCC. Sorry, mushrooms? Yeah, not magic mushrooms. Oh, okay. Medicinal. It's medicinal. Medic yeah. okay. They both okay. have an M yeah. in them, but yeah. one's medicinal, one's magic. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. these are not for a long, strange trip. I can yeah. tell you that. <laughs> 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 but uh, no, I live on the road, so I'm always exposed to you know sick people, and I live on airplanes. And so AHCC supports your immune system. So uh, when you do get exposed, it's ready to act. The other really cool thing is for those people who did get the flu shot this year, and we know that the flu shots really not what it's supposed to be this year. Right. But if you did get that, there's studies showing where if you took AHCC and the flu shot together, you did much better than the person who just did the flu shot alone. So right. Well, it makes sense because our immune system is under attack all the time. And there right. are so many things that we do to it through the bad foods that we eat and the whole bit. Exactly. So this just kind of kind of evens the playing field again. Right. And then the other things are like echinacea. This is actually something that this product, Disparatox, is something we use at the Foreman household because kids can take it. It's chewable. But these stimulate your immune system. So things like echinacea, vitamin C, zinc lozenges, they're more stimulating. You don't want to do those over a long haul. You, say you've started feeling ill today or maybe uh -huh. a family member did. 
you want to start using those things right now and it'll uh, hopefully decrease the length of the sickness that you, right. you know, you've just picked it up. It sounds like most everything you talked about is something we should do all year round, you know, especially yeah. during these heightened things like the flu I season. Live, I live on water, in sink, and my AHCC. I literally, because I'm on the road and, yeah. you know. And you never I, get sick. I never get sick. All right, he was the kid that got the perfect attendance <laughs> certificate at school. No, yeah. no, 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 I was not, no. <laughs> this stuff wasn't around when I was a kid. <laughs> right. Oh, that was bad, I oh, said that. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, well. See, my I'm, last time invited back to Houston, I know <laughs> I that. Know. Oh, well, Lord have mercy. on the herbal pharmacist and other ways to brace yourself for the flu season, head over to greatdayhouston.com. <laughs> hey, do you know which country...